There he is, the almighty King Monkey. <laughs> oh, crap. Well, that's nice. He's angry. What's going on guys back at it with another remnant from the ashes video in this one We're gonna continue the thing or whatever, but we're gonna go ahead and actually go and Get moving so that these guys don't abandon me because these guys are pretty good. So let's get going All right, look at them Man those doors are badass All right, no, so the doors open, but we got to go south Let's see what we find over here. Should be pretty interesting. Hopefully it's that dog, man. Because that dog... He was pretty badass. It kind of reminded me of that... I, I can't remember its name, but the, the dog with the sword in its mouth from Dark Souls 1. <laughs> that thing was pretty awesome. This one is nowhere near as difficult, but it's still pretty cool. Oh! Dragon. Alright, so I guess we're looting really quick. It sounds like there's people or bad things around here. I don't see them anywhere. Oh, there's one right here. This dude seriously thought he could be sneaky. Oh, shit. Who just shot at me? I don't even know. What? Uh. That dude's done, skis. I'm gonna claw his ass. Awesome. Oh, he got it already. Cool. That was, that was it. Looks like we did everything here. Yeah, let's go ahead and check over here. Because sometimes there's like some unique items here. Or some like jewelry or whatever. Honestly, when I'm done with the, with, when I'm done with the let's play here on the channel. I'm probably going to re-roll my entire campaign and just start from scratch again. I do freaking love this game, I'm telling you. I don't know what it is about this game, but I see myself playing this for probably like two more playthroughs at mi at minimum. So let's let's check out what's on the other side of this thing. So let's go ahead and uh, activate this checkpoint just in case we end up dying collectively as a group, obviously. All right, this place definitely looks a little intimidating. I've been here before, though, to be honest. Oh, yes, I have. This is the dog. Actually, no, it's not. This is that monkey. There he is. The almighty king monkey. <laughs> oh, crap. Well, that's nice. He's angry. Let's take him out. He's too angry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and focus on me. Let's go ahead and take out that totem. Get some flame damage on him. I'm literally just gonna focus on this guy. Where'd he go? 
literally shooting him in his ass. Oh shit, maybe I should heal. Just maybe. It's all good though because even if I die, I still have my weapon's unique I'd, uh, ability that revives me. Obviously I'm not gonna rely on that as a crutch. I'm just gonna focus on them. They know what they're doing. Oh man, I'm running out of ammo. Gotta use an ammo can right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop moving! I'm out of ammo. I don't think I'm gonna. I think I'm just gonna ju uh, ju because they got this. There we go. Good stuff. You guys are awesome. See, I'm telling you, this guy, these guys are, these guys are pretty good. I actually never been up here. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe I just killed myself like that. That's freaking awesome. Alrighty, so that's good. <laughs> By the way, thank you guys. You guys are awesome. Alright, founder, Founder's Prison. Alright, awesome. Looks like we didn't get to fight the dog. We, got the, we had to fight the totem father. It's all good though. It's all the same thing. There he is. Well, here I am. Magic. Uh, Commander Ford activated the red crystal. Uh, I'll just say the red crystal. Uh, I need you. Let me see. I have to start. Uh, I have to stop the route at the dragon's atoll. I guess it's atoll. Uh, can you tell me how to get into the tower? Yeah, I know how to get in. There's a mirror in Ward 13. Not where the survivors are. In the lower floor. Locked away. That mirror is like a door to the other wards. Here. This key will let you unlock the computer connected to the mirror. How do I get the mirror if it's locked away? Oh, right. Or get to the mirror. You mean this key card? I got that on the first video. <laughs> uh, wait, I have more questions. What can I expect in Ward 17? Why don't, why don't you come with me?
But you were trying to stop the route like I am. Why'd you quit? Sure, why not? Thank you for your help. Farewell. So, before I said that we were fighting the final boss with uh, Ixilis or whatever his name was, he clearly wasn't the last boss. Obviously, we wouldn't be making more videos on this game if he was the last boss. So, the real final boss is this guy, and I know this because I fought him before in somebody else's world and beat him and ended up getting a nice weapon for it. Alright guys, so before I end the video, I wanted to do a little tour of my weapons and stuff since I did a whole bunch of, you know, playing uh, off the channel. So I ended up getting a bunch of stuff, so with that being said, let's go ahead and start with our little handguns and I'll show you everything that I got. So the submachine gun is something that I got very early on in the gameplay. You guys actually saw me get it. And it's actually one of my favorite uh, guns still. It's still one of the main ones that I use. As far as pistols go, the Spitfire is pretty awesome too. You get it from fighting a dragon. Uh, this is the gun that I got um, very early. Well, actually, it's what I started with, to be honest. And then these two, honestly, I don't remember who I fought to get these. Uh, but I do have them nonetheless. Uh, I also got this one by fighting and destroying. Obviously, you guys saw uh, in the gameplay uh, the um, Undying King. I ended up getting this rifle. This, I found it, to be honest, actually earlier today. Uh, but I haven't used it yet or anything like that. I hear it's a pretty decent gun, so I don't know. This one, I see a lot of people using it. Um, it's actually a really cool freaking gun, man. Uh, it fires like this radiation beam. The coach gun, obviously, is the gun I started with. It's a really good shotgun, but I don't really use it anymore. Crossbow. Uh, I think I got that from giving the heart to the butterfly lady. Uh, I don't remember where I got the devastator from, but it's pretty cool. The ire of the storm. Haven't used it yet, but it looks pretty cool. Uh, the hunting rifle. Uh, I bought it here in War 13. The particle accelerated. Have, uh, haven't used it yet, but I hear it's pretty decent. This gun right here, I got it by beating the final boss of the game, which is what we're going to be doing in the next video. So stay tuned for that. Uh, the shotgun uh, is just something that I bought. Uh, it's, I'm not too fond of this one, to be honest. I have used it, but I, I don't really like it too much for some reason. Uh, the sniper rifle, I found it early on in the gameplay. Uh, you guys, actually, it was right there, right next to the church um, where we met the, the root mother. You guys saw it on the channel. Uh, I haven't used it yet, by the way. Uh, Spore Bloom, I haven't used it. It looks pretty sick, though, for some reason. But those are all my long guns. Uh, moving on to uh, my melee weapons. These are all my melee weapons. Uh, I'm just going to kind of glance over them. Mainly because I don't know where I got most of these. But, uh, yeah, they're melee weapons. This one's the one that I started with. It's either this one or this one that I started with. One of those two. But, um, yeah, this one's... Probably one of my favorites so far, but yeah, I don't really use any of them really. I just kind of stick with what I have. Uh, as far as armor goes, I'm going to start off with the hats. So the Doom Slayer hat, obviously, it comes with two selectable skins. The Cultist hat, which is what I wore in the channel for the longest time. And then the Doom Slayer hat, which is what I'm wearing now. Uh, the Bomber hat, you got it as pre-order. I never wore it. Uh, stalkers, what you get for being a sniper, the hunter, the, uh, two different skins, obviously. The Odysseus, whoops, the Odysseus helmet is pretty freaking sick, to be honest. I was actually thinking about using it, but it's kind of heavy, so I don't know. The Radiant Armor, a lot of people actually think this is one of the best sets in the game, uh, because of its critical, uh, chance and damage bonus. It's pretty good. So the Gladiator is more centric to, like, really up-close and personal people. But 
definitely not my style of gameplay. It does come with two different uh, skins. Uh, the Slayers, obviously, uh, you get it by giving the heart to the Butterfly Lady. Uh, Twisted Mask, I honestly don't even remember where I got this from. But those are all my helmets. My body armor, obviously the Cultist and then the Doom Slayer. The adventure is what you start off with. Drifter, you find it in the office upstairs. The Night Stalker comes with us. Obviously, the pre-order bonus. Uh, the Odysseus. The Radiant Armor, again, considered by many to be one of the best armors in the game. The Gladiator, again, comes with, yep, different selectable skins. The Slayer's Mantle, again, uh, by the Butterfly Lady. And then, of course, the Leg Armor. A lot of these are very not interesting. This is obviously selectable skins. Uh, the This has selectable skins. The Odysseus, the Radiant. This has selectable skins, obviously. I wonder if they're ever going to do anything for that. So my amulets, I got all of these. I'm actually going to go slow so you guys can pause and if you guys want to see what the special effects on them are. Some of these are pretty legit. Some of them I don't use at all. This one, for some reason, reminds me of uh, Star Wars. Han Solo's necklace thing. Charm. Uh, actually, this might be pretty good if you're a summoner. I might actually do that since I like summoning things. And that's pretty much all of my amulets. Let's go into my rings. And again, I'm going to go down slowly so you guys can push pause if you guys want to see all of this stuff. Yeah, most of these I don't even remember where I got, to be honest. It's pretty cool, though, that I got so many. All right, and that's everything. So I do have a couple of more in my inventory. Uh, the Black Tear, Storm Crystal, and that's actually it. So I'm going to go ahead and get those really quick if I have enough materials, and then I'm going to show them to you right now. Okay, so those are both mods, which I'm going to get right now. So the first one's Veil of Black Tear does that, and then... The storm collar conjures an electrical storm, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and buy both of these. But all right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Definitely do me a huge favor. Drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And in the next video, we're going to be finishing up the gameplay. So with that being said, catch you guys in the next video. Deuces.